Okay, another math video from AlgebraTestHelper.com. And what I want to focus on here in this uh, video is radical equations and how to solve them. So this is a, obviously an equation because it has an equation symbol. And we call this type of equation a radical equation because it has basically this square root symbol. Now, I want to show you how to solve this particular equation. This is going to be like of our, our uh, kind of a basic example just so we can focus in on the main steps. But the same steps would apply if this was like the cube root of 2x minus 3 or the fifth root. Okay, So these are also other um, uh, radical equations. All right, so let's go ahead and solve this particular radical equation. The first thing you want to do when you're solving these equations is to solve for the radical part first. Okay, In other words, we want to isolate this part of the equation first. So how do I get the square root of 2x minus 3 all by itself on one side of the equation? Well, it's pretty easy. All I need to do is subtract 5 from both sides of the equation, and I'm left with the square root of 2x minus 3 equals 5. Okay, so that was like step 1, okay, to isolate that uh, square root part of the equation. Okay, so I'm going to just highlight that again. And so now I rewrote this equation as a square root of 2x minus 3 equals 5. All right. So step one is done. Now step two is critical. Once you have the radical isolated, okay, as we do here, now we have to get rid of the radical. Okay, in this case, because I have the square root, if I have the square root of x, for example, and I square it, okay, well, what do I get? I get x, okay, because the square root of x times the square root of x is the same thing as the square root of x times x or the square root of x squared or x. <laughs> okay, so I kind of just, uh, you know, use this basic example and I, you know, did it the long way just to convince you that if I square the square root of something, I just get back to whatever's inside the radical, okay? So knowing that, what I want to do is to get rid of this radical, okay? So I'm going to square both sides. Now it has to be both sides because remember in equations, just as we did here, whatever I do to one side of the equation, I have to do to the other other side. It, that's that's basic equation like uh, 101 stuff. Okay. So here I'm going to square both sides of the equation with with the goal of getting rid of this radical um, sign. Okay, so the uh, square root of 2x minus 3 squared is simply 2x minus 3. Okay, and 5 squared, of course, is 25. All right, so we're almost there. Now we, now we have a nice basic equation to solve. So I'm just going to go ahead and add 3 to both sides of the equation, and I get 2x is equal to 28. Okay, and then when I divide both sides of the equation by 2, I get x is equal to 14. Now this is my solution. Uh, at least so far it's my solution. So most of you are probably asking, you know, um, saying to yourself, well, what do you mean by that? Okay, x equals 14, it looks like a good answer. Well, here's a huge, huge, huge important thing that you need to remember about radical equations. Every time you get a, um, get a, get a solution, okay, by doing all this work, this particular number is just kind of like a candidate. It's a possible solution. Okay, We have to verify each one of our solutions back into the original equation because sometimes we can end up with uh, things called extraneous roots. In other words, we can get numbers that look good over here, but when we plug them back into the original equations, they don't work. Now, in this particular ex example, uh, this will work and everything will turn out fine. But in other um, examples, believe me, you'll get solutions here that will not work. Um, when you plug them back into the original equation, it will not work. So we have to throw those away. Okay, they're extraneous or um, extra solutions. So real quick, let's go ahead and actually do this. I'm going to go ahead and solve or erase all this. So x equals 14 looks like our solution. So let's go ahead and plug it in to our original um, statement here. So that would be 2. x is 14 right here, right? Minus 3 plus 5 equals 10. Now, let's just do the work. 2 times 14 is 28. 28 minus 3 plus 5. Does this all balance out? So the 28 minus 3 is the square root of 25. Plus 5, does that equal to 10? Square root of 25 is 5. 5 plus 5 
Is that equal to 10? Yes, 10 equals 10. That's a true statement. Okay. Now, let's suppose you plugged in a number as a solution, and it and it turned out where the left did not equal the right. Okay, there was a problem, didn't make sense. Well, guess what? That's an extraneous solution, so you have to throw it out. So not every number you're going to get okay, is going to work when you plug it back in. So you absolutely have to check these, um, these solutions to make sure you don't have any extraneous solutions. Okay, <laughs> with all that said, uh, please don't um, forget our website, algebratesthelper.com. Um, chock full of uh, tutorials and great videos all designed to make math easy to learn. All right, so take care and good luck.